are listening to Unlocking Your Inner Strength with Kyle Newell, aka the Human Strength Expert. He has been inspiring people to transform their lives through storytelling and teaching for over a decade. What's up, everybody? It's Kyle once again with another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. This is episode 154. So last week we were going over rules one to five that I developed uh, that I feel have helped me um, have some degree of success, right? And not really just that. It's I believe these rules are things that, that help me be a better person, better man. So we're going to keep going today with rules 6 through 10. And this will continue for the next couple weeks until I cover all 33. When you listen to these, you might have to listen to it again. You might have to go back and take notes. I know there's stuff in here that you can apply to your life pretty much right away. So rule number six, good is good enough. This drives perfectionists insane. Good is good enough. I was listening to a podcast that my coach uh, Vince did with Mike Boyle yesterday. And Mike Boyle's a legend uh, as far as this industry, the fitness industry is concerned. And Mike Boyle said something. He said, you know, I always tell people to be the 90% guy. Don't be the 100% guy. Be the 90% guy. It's the last 10% is going to drive you nuts. It's going to kill you. And that coincides directly with this principle that I live by. Good is good enough. If you wait until everything is perfect and all the lights are green, then you're never going to get off the starting line. That's just the way it goes. Good is good enough. If it's ready to go you know, and, that, and it's not sloppy, then send it. I always tell people with these podcasts, with my anything I write, you know, and I write a lot, thousands of words a week, uh, you know, daily email has been going on for a couple years don't miss a day. I never go back and look at those things. I never go back and proofread them. Good is good enough. To me, it's about the message. And that has allowed me in life to act with speed, right? Where other people get so caught up, well, this isn't quite right. Now that when you're trying to get that last 10%, that perfectionist mindset, that's really just fear of judgment. That's all it is. So you got to be aware of that and you got to get, you know, do the best to tame it down and realize that good is good enough. That'll give you a huge advantage in any area of your life. So rule number seven is imperfect action beats perfection. That kind of ties in with that imperfect action, right? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's, uh, nothing is ever going to be perfect. So why do people strive for perfection? I'm a perfectionist. Well, that's good. I can guarantee you that you probably don't do much as far as having an impact on the world if you're a perfectionist because nothing ever gets sent out. And when I say sent out, it's just proverbial like, is it ready to ship? Is it ready to go out? Action Jackson likes it. Good is good enough. And I'm telling you, you guys use that stuff and apply it. And it ties right into number seven. Imperfect action beats perfection. Imperfect action, I'll take that any day of the week. And when I'm looking to hire people, I am looking for, for go-getters, people that are good people, right, that, that are going to take action. They're going to get can, uh, constantly get better. And it, it, when you get these people, when I get these people in that try to overly impress with their, their knowledge and they can recite a textbook and everything's got to be just so, throw it out the window. That, that's not uh, what connects with people. So imperfect action beats perfection. Number eight is comparison is the thief of happiness. Comparison is the thief of happiness. This is huge. So I like to use a lot of things in life um, as compasses, and this is one of them. First of all, I was writing about this morning, and I'll give you some of the other ones uh, so you can see how this is actually something you can use as your compass in life. But the purpose of any goal is to increase your level of happiness. So if whatever you're doing is not making you happier, that that process of growth, it's the wrong goal. Resistance, wherever there's resistance, that's where you have to go into. If there's resistance, that's the direction that you have to go into. So those are two things. And this is another one. Comparison's a thief of happiness. 
if I find myself and I'm, I'm cruising along and I'm, I'm doing well with whatever I am and I'm in the zone and then I start comparing to a future self of me or uh, somebody else that already has the success that I want, quote unquote, it's going to instantly take your happiness away. Comparison's really a form of uh, judgment. Judgment is very threatening to the brain. When the brain is threatened, it'll, it'll put you into freeze mode. So you got to remember that. So comparison is a thief of happiness. Comparison is really just a form of judgment. Be mindful of it when you're talking to other people because if you're always comparing other people and judging other people, you're going to do it to yourself. So remember that. Number eight. Excuse me. Number nine. That was number eight. Number nine is invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. A guy told me a long time ago, two things you invest in, the food that you eat and your education. I'm not talking about college education. College was great. I had a great experience, but I learned very little that I actually use in the world, real world as far as academics uh, at college. You learn a lot of life skills and whatnot, but investing in yourself. I mean, you, you the bookshelves behind me, let me see if I could show you. The bookshelves behind me, you see way back there, I got two of them. I got about 700 books or so in my library. Obviously, I haven't read them all yet, but I'm constantly investing in my own education, listening to courses. Uh, I'm always listening to something when I'm driving around. Now, I know when happiness or, or when I'm starting to feel like the pedal's still metal too much, I listen to something entertaining. But beside the point, I'm always investing in myself. I always have my own coaches. I'm always... Uh, you know, putting it back into myself. Because think about this, right? You can invest in all this other stuff. Let's say it's material stuff or the stock market. You can lose that all. But if you invest in yourself and you have your own business or you have a career and you get fired or everything goes to hell and everything crashes, as long as you've been investing in yourself, you can bounce back pretty quickly. So investing in yourself uh, rather than investing at the bar, investing in clothes, Put money into yourself. Start building your library. Poor people have big, big TVs. Rich and successful people have big libraries. So remember that. Invest in yourself. And number 10, this is the one I'm going to wrap it up with today because I have to get over to the hospital for an ultrasound Devin, uh, Devin is having today so we can see how the baby's doing. Laugh, laugh often. Laugh often. Life is about happiness, right? The, all anybody really wants out of life is to increase their level of happiness. Fun is one of the five Fs, but most people kind of always put it on the back burner, especially the, the, the more that life goes on, the more you seem to put yourself in the back burner. Fun becomes the last thing. What are you doing each day to laugh? And it might, you might have to listen to something on YouTube when you're driving around that's going to get you to laugh out loud. You might have to joke around with your friends. You might have to watch a sitcom to wind down you might just have to sit there and play with your kids and really laugh but laughter is a great medicine great for the soul great for the brain great for the heart so you got to figure out a way to to laugh every day whatever it is you're doing uh i like silly stuff so i'm constantly trying to make myself laugh and, and that's a good thing if, if you can figure out how you can make yourself laugh and you don't require anybody else to make you laugh then you're never going to run out of laughter opportunities so to recap Rules six through ten. Number six is good is good enough. I live by that. Number seven, imperfect action beats perfection. Number eight, comparison is the thief of happiness. Number nine, invest in yourself. That's who you're going to become. So if you invest the food you eat, the two things you invest in, the food you eat and your education, that is literally who you're going to become in the future. So remember that. And lastly, laugh often. That was number ten. Get as much laughter out each day as you can. That's what it's all about, is having fun and enjoying the ride. So that's it for episode 154. If you liked it, please post something below. You're you're welcome, Action Jackson. Make sure you watch last week's was rules one through five. And uh, we're going up to number 33. I got them all written out already. It's going to be a little manual as well. So I'm leveraging my time with that. I'm glad you liked it. Please hit the share button on this if this uh, hits you uh, in any way impactfully. And subscribe on iTunes if you haven't done so already. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back next week. Peace.
This has been Unlocking Your Inner Strength with Kyle Newell. Check out the website www.kylenewell.com. Tune in next time to unlock the strength inside with Kyle as your guide.